Hello everyone. Happy New Year. This is Bridget with Horse Auctions USA and the Casino Classic Horse Sale and I wanted to pop on here and give you guys a video tutorial for online bidding because sometimes I think it's way easier to see things um, kind of you know, you know as they're going to happen uh, to understand versus me writing out many many paragraphs of instructions. Um, so first things first, uh, if you don't already uh, like and follow the Casino Classic Horse Sale page on Facebook. I am going to encourage you to do so. Um, pop on over, give it a like, and if you wouldn't mind a share, we'd sure appreciate it. Our original page um, we lost control of. Thank you, hackers. Um, so we had to kind of start from scratch. So uh, everybody's help is greatly appreciated. But on to the purpose of this video. So our New Year's Eve sale is Sunday, which is New Year's Eve, of course. Um, and you will be able to watch and bid live on the horses uh, from Horse Auctions USA, but whether it's our app or our website. And I'm going to cover both of those things. Um, so we would absolutely love to have you join us in person. But if you can't, uh, never fear, you don't have to miss out. If you've got a good cell phone connection or a good internet connection, wherever you're going to be Sunday afternoon, you are good to go. Um, so let's just kind of go over the schedule real quick and the location and all that stuff. Again, it's Casino Classic Horse Sale. This is held in Oak Grove, Kentucky. Um, it is at Oak Grove Racing Gaming and Hotel. Uh, right there on the property is a brand new, uh, very well-equipped equestrian center. Um, it's 777 Winner's Way in Oak Grove. Um, it's just a short jaunt off the interstate. Super easy to find. Really, really nice facility. The sale itself is, um, like I said, going on on Sunday, New Year's Eve. Uh, we will ha have an auction for saddles um, at 12 o'clock noon. So if you have any good used saddles you would like to sell, please feel free to bring them down. And then at one o'clock, we will start on the catalog horses. And it is an all breed sale. And we've got them from itty bitty to great big and everything in between. So a really um, good mix of equines, mules, minis, ponies. Um, there's a baby zebra. Very cute. Um, so there's really a super, super wide variety. So again, uh, if you're coming in person, we'd love to have you. Uh, the horses already started coming in. Uh, so throughout the day Saturday, the barn will be open if you are able to come down and uh, grab yourself a catalog out of our office, go back in the barns, talk to the consigners, look at those horses. Um, it will serve you very well. But for our internet bidders, let's talk about how you're going to participate if you can't spend the day with us in person. So you can bid online one of two ways. You can use the Horse Auctions USA app or you can use a browser um, on your computer or whatever device you're using. If you are going to use your cell phone, your iPad, a tablet, any kind of mobile device, I'm going to encourage you to use the app because it's super user friendly. Um, you do not have to be even remotely tech savvy to get along with this app. Um, we've had a ton of users, you know, give feedback on it and overwhelmingly they like the app. So super easy to use. A couple different ways you can get it. You can go to the store for your device. So if you've got an Apple product, obviously the App Store, and if you've got a Samsung, Android, Google Play. So you'll go there and you will type in the search horse auctions. There's an S at the end of auctions, USA, and that's our logo and it will pop right up and you just click get or install. It's free to download. Um, alternatively, you can go to our website, horseauctionsusa.com and click on our app. Um, you want to do this, obviously, from the device you want to load it on, and then you can download directly from the website. So whichever way is easiest to download the app, um, that's that's all there is to it. Nothing, nothing complicated at all. For the rest of you who don't want to use the app, who are going to use your computer, you guys are going to navigate to bid, B-I-D, and a period, horse, auctions, S at the end of auctions, USA.com. Now, this will work on just about any browser. I recommend Google Chrome because it tends to be the most up-to-date browser, but you can use Safari, you can use Edge, whatever browser, is, you know, your preferred browser, that's absolutely fine, it will work. But again, Chrome just tends to be the most up-to-date. So whether you are on the website or the app, 
um, the rest of this is going to be pretty much the same. So when you type that website in or you first open your app, it's going to bring you to our landing page. And as the name implies, we do them all over the U.S. and New Year's is a big weekend. So you're going to see lots of sales. All right. Um, and they are in order of start. So there is one on Friday night. And that one, of course, is showing first. And then the next sale on the docket is the Casino Classic. So you are going to navigate to Casino Classic by clicking View Auction. And if you're in the app, the only difference is that these things appear vertically vertically to fit your phone, right? So view auction. What that's going to do is populate an index, if you will, of the listed animals. The very first lot, this lot zero, sale information and practice bidding, that's exactly what that lot is. Um, it is all the basic sale information when you click on this. It's going to tell you all about the sale, all the need to know stuff. And the other thing that this law is for is for you to play some practice bids. So we'll get into that in just a minute. And I want you guys to go hog wild and knock yourselves out because this is a free for all lot. You can do whatever all your little hearts desire because it's just for practice. It doesn't count. So like I said, this is an index. And as you scroll down through, um, it's going to give you one picture and then like a little blurb, a little intro to them. If they have a video, it's going to tell you that there's a video and you can just kind of go on down through. And then when you see one that you would like to know a little bit more about, you can click on it and expand it. Um, just like I said, just kind of go down through um if there's anything in particular that you're looking for, like um, a specific color, let's say, like you're only interested in, let's say, Rhone's. See this little search glass here? You can go there and you can type Rhone, right? And it's going to pull up anything that mentions Rhone. OK, um, so if you're short on time and you would like to, you know, just kind of you're looking for something very specific and only that, um, that might be a, a good way to kind of go about doing that. So like I said, you can kind of go down through and when you see something that strikes your fancy, you can click on it and see a little bit more about them. OK, so um, like. This is, we have several, for you mule folks, we have several really cool mules. I'm going to use cotton just because I know cotton has a video and I want to show you guys that. So when I click on cotton, what that brings up is cotton's complete listing, right? All of the verbiage that we have. And then it tells me here that cotton has a video. So when it says video, that's going to be the second thumbnail of their listing when you click on it. So there's her photo. That's what we're looking at. And then the second listing is here. And bam, that's the video. It's going to play right there for you. OK, so um, just that's kind of a quick how to navigate. Um, once you make an account and sign in, you can favorite lots um, so you can kind of keep an eye on things and all that good stuff. So that's just a little bit about how to navigate. Um, and we'll be adding to um, some of these um, folks didn't have like help um, to do photos. Um, so we'll have some that did that don't have photos up very few, but there, there are some. Um, and I will get those photos uploaded. Um, we'll get pictures of them on site and we'll be doing some live videos and whatnot on site as well. All right. So let's get into the nitty gritty. How do we register to bid? You'll notice under every single lot, there's a prompt that says register to bid and you can click on any lot in the auction. doesn't matter if you register under the practice lot, if you register under Charlie here, it literally doesn't matter. Any of these lots, you click register to bid. We can, let's, let's register. I'm going to draw your attention to this guy just because he's kind of neat. This is an American Pharaoh son, folks. Pretty snifty. Um, so click register to bid. We're going to register with him. Bam. That's going to bring this up. Now, if you have never had an account with Horse Auctions USA before, and this means for if, you, if you've bid with Horse Auctions USA at any auction, you've got one. But if, if we're brand spanking new to you, don't put your email and password up here because you don't have an account with us yet, right? The system won't be able to find you. You want this little job down here. No account, sign up here. You're going to click on that. Put in your name, your email address, pick a password, make sure that that is checked, and click Continue. If you've been with us before, you are the folks that are going to put in your email address and your password. If you have a problem with your password, and this is very important, if you have an existing account, forgot your password, and you click this to reset and, you know, do the forgot your password and have them send you the reset to your email. For some people, that seems to not be working as smoothly as it should. So if that applies to you, you forgot your password, you tried to reset it, and there's there's been nothing that's been crickets in your email, 
reach out to me with your email address um, and what you want me to set your temporary password to be, whatever your little heart desires, and I'll manually reset it on my end and send it to you, and then you'll be able to log in and make it whatever you want, okay? Um, and I'll put all my information uh at the end of this video, you know, for contacting me and it's all over the website as well. All right. So for those of you who are new, you've put your name and your email. And for those of you returning, you've done that. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to have you put in a credit or a debit card. Now, this is very, very important. We are unfortunately subject to scammers and horrible people just like the rest of the world. And so we do need to make sure that people who are registering to bid are um, number one, human, uh, number two, adults over the age of 18, and number three, that you have a way to pay for your purchases. So um, in order to do that, we are going to do a pre-authorization on the card you register with. Now, this is the important part. It's a $500 pre-authorization. It is not a charge, okay? It's just like when you rent a car, it's going to pop on your account like a pre-authorization and you're going to get a notification from your mobile banking most likely and it will look like a charge. Um, don't panic. If you get in there, you're going to see it pop up as a $500, but it's going to be pending. And what's going to happen is at the conclusion of the auction, it's going to literally vanish. It's not going to refund because it's never going to complete. It's just going to poof, go away like it was never there. Um, and I'm sorry that we have to do that. And I hate that we have to do that, but we kind of have to, we have to kind of protect ourselves as well. So I know it's 500 bucks and it's really inconvenient, um, but we just need to make sure that, you know, you are who you say you are. So once that's done, I'm going to get signed into my bidder account. I'm going to advise that you make sure remember me on this device is checked. Unless, of course, you're in a house with other folks that you don't want accessing your stuff or whatever. Or God forbid a public computer. Um, do check this. I'll tell you why in a sec. All right. So now I'm in my bidder account. Now you see my register to bid prompt has changed to bid and it has done that on all of the horses okay right now I have a prompt to bid and my name is in the upper right hand corner the reason I asked you to check remember me is this I have had people in the past plan to participate live on sale day and they've you know done all their homework they know what horse they want to bid on they're all set to go they've been registered but they didn't keep themselves signed in and so we go live and you don't have to have an account to watch here on horse auctions usa right anybody in the world can watch it so you'll be able to watch whether you're logged in or not um so they'll be all set and they're watching and the horse they want to bid on comes in and they go to bid but they're not logged in and so obviously you can't bid. And because it's an auction, pretty fast paced, you're probably not gonna have time to get out, log in and get back into the live feed. So that's why I tell you, remember me on this device. So um, when we're live, you can bid two different ways on this platform and I'm gonna go over both of them with you, okay? Um, the reason it's asking you if you want to bid now is because you do have the option of placing an absentee bid or a pre-bid. Um, and this is useful in a few different situations. The first and most obvious situation is you can't watch live on Sunday. Maybe you have a family obligation. Maybe you got to work and your boss frowns upon horse purchases on company time, whatever. For whatever reason, you cannot be watching the horse sale Sunday, but you still want to bid on a particular animal. Obviously, this is a good choice for you. Um, but some other times that people... Um, should use this or think about using it and maybe didn't think of. The first one is um, think about the kind of internet and or cell service you're going to be in during sale time Sunday afternoon. So this is going to broadcast in real time on our end and we're very fortunate at this facility. Um, the internet signal is very good. There's no lag. There's no delay on our end. However, I have zero control over any lag or delay on yours. So if you live in rural America, as many of us do who have horses um, and you have yeah, spotty internet and you know if you do like, you know, if you download or you're trying to watch YouTube or something and it's buffering all the time. I'm talking to you. Um, if you've got spotty service or slow doggy internet, you might want to think about this too. Because if your bids come in slow because of you've got, you know, kind of spotty service, um, there's a very good chance that bidding live isn't going to work well for you. Because once that auctioneer says sold 
and I've had it happen. I've had it happen every sale I've ever done since since I started doing them. Somebody at some point during the sale will send their bid in just as the auctioneer has said sold. And once he said sold, that's it. That's all the fat lady has sung. It is over. Um, and so you miss out and we don't want that to happen to you. Um, so just think about that. Um, it's an option for that. The third time, third situation I'm going to tell you to think about using this option is if you are a person that finds big decisions under pressure, particularly daunting, um, and buying a horse is a big purchase, it's a big decision, and auctions are fast. Um, so if you're not real familiar with auctions, they can be overwhelming um, when they're live. The auctioneer is going fast, you're trying to keep up, all that good stuff, and some people just kind of get that deer in the headlights thing and and then the live auction is kind of tough for them to participate in. So if that sounds like maybe I'm talking to you, you might want to think about this option as well. Um, I'm going to go over how to place that bid in just a minute. But before I do, I want to switch over to bidding live for a second, just so I can show you what I want to show you on the practice lot. And I can't do that unless I do it in this order. So for my pre-bidders, sit tight for just a minute. I'm going to come back to how to do that. For those of you who want to watch live on Sunday, so make sure you're logged in. Yep, I see my name there. We're good to go. My bid button say bid. I'm good. You'll click on the first lot, the current lot, whatever lot we happen to be on, and it'll tell you what the active item is. And you see this little view live icon, you're going to click on that. Obviously, we're not live right now, so nothing's happening. But when we are, you'll have audio, video, the works. Depending on your device, um, if your feed comes up muted, um, find your little speaker icon and click it. Some feeds automatically come up muted, and that's a device-specific situation. I will, on occasion, when we first start, mute the mic. Like, I'll get the feed up and then turn the audio off, um, and I'll usually send out a notice. Like, if you're a registered bidder you'll, and you're in the app, you'll get a notice. Hey, you know, we're the mic is muted till we actually start. Um, but just if you have no sound, that's the first thing. Check your little speaker icon. All right, so once we're live... I'm going to use the practice lot. When you've clicked this, the video and audio is going to be right here, right? You'll be able to watch as things are going. You're going to hear me just like I'm talking to you now, um, telling you about the horses. And then, so once once we read the footnotes, the pedigrees tell you about the horses, the auctioneer is going to start selling them. Now, I know some of you struggle with keeping up with the auctioneer, and that's okay. <laughs> that's, that, that happens. Um, so don't fixate too much on trying to follow the auctioneer's chant if it's just mind-boggling to you. This number here on your bid button, that's the dollar amount that the auctioneer is asking for, and that's my job. I will make sure that this number matches what he is asking for on the microphone. So if you can't quite follow the auctioneer, don't worry. You just pay attention to this number. So... We're going to use the practice lot. We're going to pretend we're live and we're going to place a live bid now. And I'm going to show you why. So he's asking for a thousand right now. And you say, yep, I want to bid a thousand. I'm going to click to bid. What happened? It says confirm bid. I have not bid yet. This is very important for my live bidders because I don't want you to miss a horse because you thought you bid. You have to click twice because we don't want an accidental bidding. Nothing good has ever come from an accidental bidding. We don't want that. So you have to click second time to confirm. So now there is absolutely no question that I am the high bidder, right? It says I'm the high bidder and it's green and I got the little stars, like lots of things here telling me I'm the high bidder. If the floor outbids me or another internet bidder outbids me, it's going to tell you you've been outbid, bid again, it's going to ask you and so on. Okay, so for my live bidders, remember, click twice. If it says confirm bid, you need to click again. My absentee bidder, folks, we're going to come back like I promised. Okay, so let's talk about placing those absentee bids. How do we do that? You'll notice next to each and every one of those bid buttons is a little drop-down arrow on the right. So you've researched your horse. We're going to pretend this is it. This is the one. That's your hard horse. you got to have him. You've thought about what you want to spend on this horse. So that's the number, the maximum amount that you're comfortable spending. That's the number you put in here. And I want to show you, I'm going to pick a fairly low one here because I want you guys to knock me out and play with this. So I'm going to place my max bid, right? I'm just going to say, yep, that's where I want to be. This is what I want to call your attention to. I've had people be afraid to use that in the past because they're afraid they could, like I just put in $3,000, you guys watched me. They think the computer's going to just wham, whack them for 3000 It's not. 
See what happened here? I was already the high bidder for $1,000, and I went ahead and I placed a max bid for $3,000. Notice that my bid did not change. That's because once you place that max bid, the computer's job is to work as your proxy on your behalf. And that means it is going to bid as it thinks you will, which means well, what it means for all of us. We want it for the lowest possible price, right? So it's not going to raise your bid until it absolutely has to. So until someone else comes along and knocks me out, it is not going to raise your bid. And it is not going to automatically raise your bid to $3,000. It's going to go by increments, $100, $250, etc. That's how that's going to happen. On that note, bid increments, and I want to cover this. Rarely, but on occasion, people will have a max bid placed, right? And again, the, like I'm going to be putting in the floor bids as they bid. The computer's going to come back. Every once in a while, let's just say they're going by 250s and the floor takes you out bidding 2500 and the auctioneer asks, asks for 27 and a half, right? The computer's going to put you back in at 27 and a half. Your max is three. Stay with me. So then the floor is out. It's their turn. He's going to ask them for 3000 If they come back at 3000 it's good. It's going to knock you out. So if you've placed a max bid, you might just kind of want to keep an eye on things when your horse is coming up. Um, if I see that that has happened to you, I'll try to let you back in for like 31. You know what I mean? Um, but just be aware. But sometimes because of the way the bid increments fall, if you see the horses at your maximum, but you're not the winning bidder, that is what has happened is that it just because of the way the bid increments fell, the computer was trying to, you know, keep you in the lead for the lowest possible amount and just the way the increments fell it put the floor on that doesn't happen often but just a possibility that i want to touch on um, so that's how you place max bids couple more things about this number one yes you can absolutely place a max bid and then jump back in there live and if it's getting too close and oh god it's at three and it goes to 32 and you think you know what i would go 35 you can jump right in and go to live bidding no problem there number two and this is a big one if a horse comes in the ring with something visible or announced that changes this information you had, right? For example, our practice lot here, it doesn't say anything about this practice lot being a cribber. And then John Smith brings him in to sell him and says, oh, and by the way, he cribs when we feed him. So the minute that happens, and I have a little thing that tells me, hey, you've got people that have placed bids here, I am going to select that and delete all your bids and let you know, um, hey, I took you out because this horse is a cribber. I don't know if you can deal with a cribber or not. Some people don't care. For some people, that's a deal breaker. Either way, that's not the information that was available to you when you placed that bid, and we don't want that happening. Um, so I tell you that because I want you to use that feature with confidence. Um, so those are the basics of online bidding. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing for everyone. Um, if you've watched this and we're here, we are, we're at the end and you still have some questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Again, my name is Bridget. My cell is 336 nine zero four eight nine zero three it is all over horse auctions usa and the casino classic sale um i do have a sale in springfield missouri friday night um so i absolutely will not be reachable from about 5 30 on um friday night and i will be driving to kentucky um on saturday uh, so you'll want to um call me not text me on saturday because i i can't text and drive i'm not a multitasker like that um, but please reach out if you do have questions um so hopefully this has helped um if you're winning bitter yay um one of the girls in the office will give you a call um please don't uh, i've had a lot of people and, and i get it like you're excited you've won the bid and then the first thing they do is they call my phone i'm gonna be if the auction's still going on um, it's me up there talking to you guys. So I can't answer my phone and read pedigrees and run the internet. So um, the girls in the office will give you a call. Um, you can certainly text me during the auction. I just can't, I can't answer the phone. Um, but they'll give you a call. You don't have to pay with the credit card you're registered with. Um, you can pay cash or check at pickup as long as you're picking up by Monday at noon. Um, or if you do want to use your card, the girls will get your card information from you at that time um, because for security purposes, they can't get in here and access your card. You know what I mean? That you registered with. So that's all secure. Um, so if you do want to pay with a card, just be aware you will have to give them that card information. Uh, We'll make sure your horses are on feed and water Sunday night. Um, horses do need to be picked up and off-site by noon on Monday. I understand that logistically that's not always possible for our internet bidders. Please don't panic. Um, if you will reach out to Scotty or Austin, and their numbers are on the flyer, um, and again, all over the page, um, 
and I'll put them in the, the information of this video as well, um, they can help get you hooked up with some layover board um, until you or transport can come pick up your new equine. Um, so again, thank you everyone. Really looking forward to seeing you all at Casino Classic um, in Oak Grove this Sunday for New Year's Eve. Um, once again, one more quick plug for the Facebook page, Casino Classic Horse Sale. Uh, please give us a like, follow, and a share, guys. We sure appreciate it. Looking forward to a great sale and seeing you all. Happy New Year.